Hi again, everyone. Um, today I have um, Bear over here with me playing um, while Moose is napping. And I just wanted to go over um, a little bit about PCSing or in the military, that's permanent change of station. Meaning um, my husband, Cameron, received orders to go to Alaska, and that's why we're taking this journey. Um, it actually involves a lot of work. So one thing that I did immediately was created this handy little binder, um, and it filled up very quickly. So going to Alaska, because Fairbanks is so remote, um, it's technically, Alaska is considered um, Oconus, which is outside the continental United States of America. That means that we are technically on an overseas tour. Um, and with that, we also needed um, to go through further approval to have myself and Baron Moose included to accompany my husband on this tour um, due to more limited resources there. So in order to do that, there's a long process you have to go through. The um, Army has this program called the Exceptional Family Member Program, which is great if your child has any special needs or anything, um, because we're really actually trying to look out for your best interests by ensuring that where you are being sent, they can provide that care for your child there. So um, each one of us had to go through a screening process and be evaluated, and then they would make the determination of whether we could accompany him or not. So. I'm just going through my binder and clearing out things now that we've completed that. So I figured I'd show you a little bit about what we had to do with that. Um, so here's like their little checklist of everything that you need to know about your appointments. Hey, Bubs, do you need help with that, Bear? Let me see. my map. Yeah. You're packing your map? Where was your map to? It was going to... Um, you got to go up on it. I'll tell you real. All right. So um, we had to get medical records for the last five years for each of us. So every single doctor they have ever seen, not just their primary care, every specialist, the ENT, the speech pathologist, um, you know, women's care, everything you can imagine. So they're going to Alaska. Yeah, this is that's on your map. So um, you have to do that as well as um, uh, your immunization records. You have to fill out a um, medical summary. If your kid had an IEP, you have to submit um, information about that and then um, special education form that the school has to sign and, and then any specialist that they've ever seen has to fill out this packet. So going through that, um, this is just like their question sheet you fill out, um, and you'll need that to submit. Then um, there's another questionnaire, which is a front and back, just general information. You have to fill out that and submit it. As you can see, I have many copies because doing this, like we weren't sure what to put. I mean, there's many pages, we weren't sure. Uh, you know, this is things we've never done, so some of them were like, well, one answer, two answers, um, in case of any, many copies, because they do lose things, so you need to resubmit again. Um, you need to submit medical record consent forms, so I had to fill out one for each of us, for them to uh, receive them and go over them, and then um, forms to have authorizing each place we visited to send everything there, um, all the medical records there. So, uh, because we visit a lot of places, we have tons of these for each of us. I mean, like a stack on stacks of these that I had to submit and mail um, to all these different healthcare facilities. And then, um, because Bear had an IEP, um, which was just for speech, but he had been in speech therapy and in private sector as well, and was in the process of graduating because he's come so far. Um, we had to submit that, and we had to say that we were terminating his IEP, which could have also gotten in the way of us getting accepted, but he um, he was no longer in need, even according to his school. So they agreed to that. It ended up being no problem. They accepted it. What are you doing? I'm scooting. You're scooting? 
Um, and then any. Oh, that's about as far as you can go, buddy. So then any. Excuse me. That's as far as you can go, honey. Go this way. So then, um, any specialist I've ever seen, um, like Moose had to have tubes put in his ears um, because he actually could hardly hear at all with the amount of fluid. And um, we could not clear up his ear infection for over seven months. Oh no, you better move it. So every specialist they saw had to fill out a multiple page packet of stuff. And we had to send that off to the specialist to then fill out their section and then mail it back to us, which we would then bring and submit. Um, so that was for everywhere, every specialist. So basically, that's kind of the packet of stuff we had to get together, um, along with all the records, which I brought binders full. Um, and then they reviewed it with us. They sat down. Teddy, you love the teddy. I love the teddy as much as I love my big bear. So they um, reviewed it all with us. And then they sent it off. And it went to Alaska. And it came back. And um, because the actual appointment getting it scheduled was a month and a half out in general to be... Um, even screened and then sending it up there and then having it all to come back down through the channels. We didn't receive any of this until mid-June um, and initially Cameron's report date was July 20th but that wasn't going to leave us enough time after their decision had been made so he had to defer it to September. So um, technically originally we should be there already but um, we won't be arriving until um, our date that he has to be there now is September 10th so we are hoping to beat that by a few days. Um, so that's a little bit about that process. On Cameron's end, he had to fill out all of these other forms. Um, these are just a few. I mean, there was probably about 15 more forms that he had to fill out and get submitted at various briefs. He's had to attend um, several mandatory meetings, briefs, if you will, uh, in order to check that off on the list that he's been there. One's about um, actually you know, packing up our goods, finances, um, the initial meeting telling you the steps of what you need to do for the EFMP screening. So um, there's a lot that we've had to do over the past few months. It doesn't just happen overnight. And it's also extremely stressful <laughs> and takes a long time. Um, and asking and pleading for signatures from um, you know higher ranking people has been uh, fun on his part. So um, that's basically um, that process and then currently in our binder Good. we have no place so in our binder currently um, what is left which I will go into more details with is the um, with the car at the VPC which is where we ship the car we bring the car to and they ship it to Alaska. So we'll go over that thoroughly because that's been quite an adventure in itself. Um, we have a folder with all the animals' vet records. Um, Ten days out. Excuse me, buddy. I want to just park in here. Do you see? I want it. Come here. You can come see. Animals. Okay. So the animals. Um, that's been another challenging thing. They have to have their rabies vaccinations, um, not too old, but not too soon, so it has time to kick in. They also have to go get um, certifications done within 10 days before we leave, and it's good for 30 days. So we have that scheduled the day before we um, will actually take off. Here. Do you want to write on something? Uh -huh. okay. And then um, this folder is our actual trip plans um, that I already kind of reviewed, which I will go in more in depth with another day. This folder is um, the Army's folder this they give us with our actual map. moving checklist. It's quite overwhelming, everything they have you um, go through. I mean, it's pages and pages and pages of things you need to be doing. Um, so it's not always easy. Especially with uh, Baron Lewis when you're trying to get stuff done. Um, but it basically 
shows all of our stuff getting our goods scheduled to pick up which is and happening to um in a week from now we will be gone so it's happening in less than a week it's this becoming very real year. which we'll talk about later this is alaska mom wow that's a great picture that's um also picture. in our binder and these are all the books keep us organized um uh see but um it is our school his school stuff so he is already registered for school and enrolled and we have his packet we need to fill out with them the so next is doctor's office dentist everything I've already researched and written down um, daycare options that I am continuing to research um, applying for other schools for Camden um, so that's kind of what this yeah. is. This is our, um, my initial packing cool. list before it ended up in all the wet bags. This is um, a records of everything in our house. We have to write it all down, including serial numbers, um, mm -hmm. makes and models of things that are important for when the shippers come. So this is an uh, inventory list of the house. Um, the next part is, this big one falling, is um, what needs to still be done and completed and signed. And some of these are mostly all school related, which cannot happen until we are there. Um, same thing with enrolling them in a few programs on post. So uh, that's our to-dos currently. And then um, I also have a little section of Cameron's paperwork that he's been doing the whole time. His checklist, he is now on the final section. Um, of what they call out processing, so he's currently working on that as we speak to formally get out of um, Fort Bragg. So this is basically the key to everything going on. Um, very important, stay organized during all this process. But um, now you have a little insight into the um, challenge behind everything and how it's not so easy of just saying, you're going here, see you later. And it's actually a lot of steps in between. So uh, now you know. Um, and that's that. Do you want to say bye there? Bye. See ya. Don't